From player to composer, it's a big step. It's a totally different skill set. It's like trying to read a book by staring at a blank page and actually becoming an author. So this is, this is a very similar thing that you're trying to create something from nothing. That musical leap was an early one for Sylvie Lin. She doesn't talk much. She was four years old. And that's when she started playing? Yeah, that's why she, when she started learning piano. Because she's a very shy person, and I want her to be able to express herself in a certain way. And I thought piano is a good way for her to learn how to express her own feelings. It's not really fun playing somebody else's music than like composing your own. I could get my feelings and stuff in it, and I could make up a story using music. After two years of study, Sylvie was selected into what we call the Junior Special Advanced Course, or JSAC, where she and other children like her um, actually take an accelerated program in piano performance and composition. Well, you can give her any notes, and then she, she knows the, right, the left hand sequence, and then she can just compose with her right hand and then make a whole piece. At the ripe old age of nine, she has three compositions under her belt. The first one is Yaya's Wedding. She composed that when she was six years old. Yaya is her stuffed animal, the security animal she, ha she always need to have. My second song was about my cat called Meow Meow. And I wanted to remember the ways he would just wander around and sleep and stuff. <laughs> And the third song, the Gypsy Carnival, is she, she went to a carnival and she also read a story about gypsy princesses. And that's how she got the inspiration. Her inspiration may betray her age, but the complexity of her arrangements and their presentation do the exact opposite. A lot of children that I've worked with, they will go and perform exactly as they performed in their lesson, and which is very good, mind, and very consistent, but Sylvie seems to have the ability to work really hard in rehearsal, but then step it up a notch when she gets in front of an audience. I think she really enjoys being in front of people, sharing her music, especially her own music, uh, with an audience and with other people. Whenever she's happy, like, then she can hear the, the song she composed. It's a happy song. And she can express her feelings. When she's sad, you can hear the, mu the, the sadness from her music as well. Every child, they need a way to let go their inner feelings. And I just don't want her to put everything inside her. She has to is spread it out, and it's a more healthy way for, for any children. Where speech falls short, her music speaks volumes. In Richmond, I'm Peter Kim for The Express.